that time it was like you are just like a small cook or something it was not like highly respected profession initially i couldn't get the support from whole family i think it was the toughest period of my life uh, as a professional life yeah my name is manjunath mural and uh, i'm the co-founder uh, of song of india uh, basically i'm from the family of doctors and whole family like father mother and everybody's doctor so in indian family like you know your son should also become a doctor but i was not like that i wanted to do something different you know i would say it's very hard time that time you know i was not such good in schooling or whatever you say in academic too much pressure i couldn't get those marks and of course uh, sometime your family is not happy with you because you're not able to prove yours because my brother and sister are doctors so i am the one so but i wanted to show that you know i can have also a good profession but unfortunately that time the chef used to be not that much respected i started as a very low uh, designation as a commi 2 that means cook 2 which is a very low designation in the when you do start in the kitchen i was lucky enough to work with few good chefs in india like sanjeev kapoor and another chef chef melin soni was the one who came to singapore first he thought that you know he's going to open a restaurant called song of india and why don't you join me and that is the how my journey started for me the singapore was a very new place and it was not like indian food which we do a traditional in india that is what we are not going to do that time we are doing the modern concept redefining indian concept the kind of food people never seen before bring different kind of region of india that's what we thought out i was there for 5 years continue supporting chef unfortunately chef left the song of india and in exactly 2011 i was given the in charge of executive chef we had struggles the struggles were more on the business part you know the sometime your restaurant doesn't do well you know and uh, when don't you don't do well sometime you take a back step especially in 2011 to 2014 the business was not so good but we trusted ourselves trusted our whole team we changed bit of ambience we worked on the menus we worked on the set menus meeting the guests is also very important for me after serving the food because i want to always take a, a good feedback as well as a bad feedback because for me bad feedback is important myself i used to struggle with the amount of salt in the food because in india we eat a bit of more salt i used to get a complaint from the guest i think those are the things when i see it really helped me to understand how the in food has to be i always tell my team don't compromise on the quality and that is the how i worked and whole team works in that way every restaurant has the struggles and if you are not able to come out of that struggle then it's very difficult that you're going to be successful from the sound of india to the bottom of the world when we achieved the michelin in 2016 the really it has really helped us to reach to the people i'm not talking about the business point but the reach to the people the day we received the michelin the second day was 100 covers it was filling up so i think people were excited to know why this restaurant got the michelin everybody expectation is very very high when you are a michelin restaurant and you have to fulfill that we have worked on the flavors we have worked on the ingredients example we serve foie gras which is not often find in indian cuisine you know like we serve scallop venison lamb rack flambe leg of lamb which is something very familiar to the people here and the flavors we are not like very spicy every sauce is, has a different flavors i worked on those things and my whole team has worked on it we don't find any whole spices in our recipes because it's more on sauce like a western style of sauces everything is refined every dish is explained on the table it is from goa or this is from kashmir or could be this is from nagaland so this is the dish what we have made i think it's all about educating and i think we have done that part and it has really helped us to make understand people that you know, food is not about north south food is all about overall experience i love local food laksa I love sambal I love fish ball noodles you know like chicken rice how can I incorporate those flavors in in our dish so I got an idea okay let me see uh, how can I do the kebabs the thinking was like that you know if you have that flavors in some dishes so locals are not afraid to eat that dish because okay laksa so it's feel interesting there should be a flavor of laksa so I think that's laksa chicken kebab is something I've created 
with the team. The method is traditional is Indian, like marination is Indian. You do the like a uh, typical like a chicken tikka, but the flavor is with the laksa paste and uh, spices, and you cook it in the tandoor. So it gives a, a nice laksa flavor, but it's a kebab. So I think this is something what I wanted to do in Song of India is that make it more familiar dishes which people know about it. When I came in 2006, Indian food supposed to be a roti prata or a nasi biryani uh, or, a, or a fish head curry, you know, people used to be like that. But now I can see the young generation, especially in Singapore, in the age of 20 to 35, the young generation I'm talking about, really they are fascinated to try something new, different. So that's why there are a few Indian good restaurants do this serve the good food and uh, it's not very, very traditional what's supposed to be served. So that is what made a big difference. Perception is changing, but it will take time and people will understand. But I can see and because in our restaurant, our 80% customers are local and locals, I will tell Chinese. They are the one who are customers. And that's a drastic change has happened in all these years, which was not earlier. That means we are somewhere we are able to change the perception of Indian food. And all in another 10-15 years, definitely it's going to be changed. Sometimes you get criticized. I also got criticized. But now I think what has changed as from family, now really my father, brother, my sister, they are really proud of my profession because I have proven them. Also the cuisine of Indian cuisine has gone to a very next level and it's really become a respectable job. Now.